When life throws everything at you, don't drop the ball. Don't drop the ball. Blue, 42, said, hike. A brown quarterback's fingers tighten around the white laces of a football. Roosevelt versus Garfield, they meet today upon an annual battleground where local legends spell rivalry in defensive and offensive formations. Upon this old field, in this dirty stadium, football sounds a lot like Boyle Heights, like East LA, like years of pride and history. Sounds like Roosevelt is in motion, number 42, Miguel is with them, crossing the line of scrimmage clad in red and yellow, his muscles tell a story. Miguel has always been running, running from La Miga. Las Placas, everyone who wants to stop him, ask him, Donde están los papeles? Where are your papers? Miguel's too fast though. How fast? Too fast. Too fast for borders, laws, checkpoints, dogs. Too fast for fences, ditches, detention centers, and walls. Definitely too fast for the fool. Unfortunate enough to be Dean up on him now. Through it all, under the glare of stadium lights. Through the cheering, booing, chanting, and screaming. Through a maze of Players like a beam of holy light, Miguel's vision is clear. He loves this game. It gives him focus, gave him purpose. Miguel will be defined by this moment. He knows this. No college will recruit him. His record doesn't really scream traffic, but that's not the issue. Miguel never cared for politics. He just loved his coach, his team, this American game of football, his dream to make a catch in the only important game that he could. Miguel will not score the winning touchdown. This game will be added to a losing record that will make for a losing season. There are so many reasons for Miguel to drop the ball. Walk out of the stadium, just another statistic. Undocumented student, faceless, illegal immigrant. There are so many reasons for Miguel to drop the ball. So as it spirals towards him, carrying the weight of a future unfathomable, he thinks to himself, don't drop the ball. Don't drop the the ball so he catches it like how he catches his diploma like how he catches his degree like how he catches the hand of his high school sweetheart and they cross the threshold of that goal line together he cradles the ball in his arms like his son john firstborn legal firstborn free to pursue his dreams and not always be running so damn hard this is just one story from the east la classic Roosevelt versus Garfield, just one game for Miguel of undocumented football.